Man, Texas has been a bit of a mess lately, if I don't say so myself. In fact, a lot of these red states have been doing horrifically evil policies. Let's call a spade a spade. A lot of these states are saying, not only are we not going to raise the minimum wage at the state level, we are going to ban cities and localities if they want to raise the minimum wage. If it's a blue city in a red state and they want to raise the minimum wage, not going to allow it, we're going to ban it. We've seen them say, uh, hey, all the heat rules and laws, they, you know, if you're working outside and it's hot, you get X amount of time indoors in AC to cool off, that's gone. We're not even going to allow you to do that. They're bringing back all sorts of child labor in a number of different places. We've covered all this stuff, man. Well, we got another one. Texas towns try to close roads to abortion seekers. What? Dismissed as grandstanding and extremist by critics, such laws are legally dubious and almost impossible to enforce. Yet that hasn't stopped their proliferation across conservative locales in the United States. The highways passing through Amarillo connect Republican-led Texas with New Mexico, Colorado, and Kansas, where abortion is still legal. Quote, We're experiencing all these horrors like abortion trafficking. Mark Lee Dixon, good name for this guy, the founder of the group Sanctuary Cities for the Unborn, Jesus, told AFP. The term sanctuary city typically refers to liberal towns that offer certain protections for undocumented immigrants, but is increasingly being used by conservatives seeking to restrict abortion rights at the local level. Some cities have voted to outlaw abortion within city limits, even if the states they're located in already prohibits the procedure. Such is the fractured landscape in the United States since the 2022 Supreme Court decision overturned the federal right to an abortion, leaving individual states to draw up their own regulations. Conservative Texas, the country's second most populous state, has one of the strictest bans with no exceptions for rape or incest. By the way, there was a clip we covered of Rogan a while back where he said, like, people in Texas treat freedom like it's a religion. That's what he said. Let me repeat this. Texas has one of the strictest bans with no exceptions for rape or incest. A lot of freedom they're giving you there. A lot of freedom. You can't even legally smoke weed there. Freedom. A lot of freedom. Medical exemptions taking into account the mother's health have been challenged in court as being too vague after doctors afraid of going to prison refuse to perform the procedure even when their patients face life-threatening conditions. This is the reality, by the way. Even if you make exceptions for life of the mother, they literally say you have to be bleeding out and dying on the table before we do the procedure. This is the reality of having a restrictionist abortion policies. Still, Dixon said there are loopholes that need to be closed. There's an unborn, unborn child that is being taken against her will across the state across state lines to be murdered. Abortion is murder, the 38-year-old told AFP. About a dozen other jurisdictions in Texas have passed so-called abortion travel bans. The work of religious extremists, says Harper Metcalf of the Amarillo Reproductive Freedom Alliance. The proposal in Amarillo would allow private citizens to sue anyone transporting a pregnant woman seeking an abortion rather than having local authorities enforce the ban. It is a controversial new legal approach used in other abortion-related legislation that seeks to sidestep potential judicial hurdles. In other words, make it more of a civil trial than a criminal trial so that we'll allow it. Oh my god. Yet it's unclear how Amarillo's law would actually work given that it would impede on Americans' right to free movement. Yep, yeah, but remember, freedom is a religion to them, right? It's a religion. <laughs> These ordinances were never made to be enforceable. They are meant to sow confusion and to create fear and uncertainty and keep people from talking to their neighbors and their friends about when they need help. Yeah, that's the reality. It creates a chilling effect. That's what it does. And it scares people into not even trying to solve their problem. Last month, the city council weighed the measure but decided to postpone any action, promising to take another look at it in June, though it could get punted again to November. Here's a community that wants to be a pro-life community, and I know not everybody feels that way, but the majority does, and your city council is a pro-life council. By the way, they're so pro-life. Remember when they passed that universal health care bill for all of Texas because they're so pro-life and they don't want to see anybody go bankrupt for medical bills or die because they can't get medical treatment? Remember that? Oh, that's right. They didn't do that. They didn't abolish uh, medical debt, which is something some of the Democratic states are now in the process of doing. They didn't do universal health care. Um, they didn't do uh, uh, payment to... Um, families that's like the child tax credit where, hey, you have kids, we want to make sure they're okay, here's some money, here's some welfare spending. They didn't do any of that. They're against all of that. Pro-life in the womb, but the second they get into the real world, go fuck yourself. Look, this is what we're looking at now. Since uh, Roe v. Wade was overturned, a lot of red states are letting their freak flag fly. They're going full authoritarian, they're cracking down as much as humanly possible. You have these horror stories coming out. 
people who need an abortion but can't get one, have health complications, or have uh, have to travel super far in order to get one. Now they're even trying to stop you from traveling, right? Here's your religion of freedom. Doesn't look very free to me now, does it? All right, guys, that's the show. Everybody do me a big favor, subscribe to the channel. Uh, click that bell icon so you get a notification every single time a video drops. Click that like, leave me a comment, all that fun stuff. Um, and that's all I got for you guys, man. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Everybody have a great rest of your day. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.